Okay. Here's the story of our beginning. Okay. So. Videotape this. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Pretend I'm behind you. I'm covert. Okay, you're way more covert. Okay, so before Nation Corp, there was Nation Cup, the humble coffee house where Rome and Germania used to work during college. Although Rome didn't go to college, he was just some poor Italian guy who flew to the U.S. for a better life, but ended up just working at a crappy coffee house with his one true love, Germania. Were they already in love by then? No. Well, Aww. Rome probably was, but Rome's pretty easy to fall in love with people. But anyway. <laughs> they weren't together. Like, what about no. Mama Egypt? No. But Mama I was working Egypt. for a very eccentric, eccentric <laughs> man. I... No. No. <laughs> but... Harry wasn't alive. Yeah, probably young. Maybe like a baby. But anyway. So, they were working for a very eccentric man who had owned the coffee house for like, I don't know, a million years. I don't know. I don't care. He, lived, he owned it for a long time. He owned it. And then Starbucks took over and he was going to go out of business. So he decided, well, I don't really want to sell it because I've already got a ton of money, so I'm just going to give it to one of you. But it's not going to be that easy. You're going to have to do a beauty pageant. That is why <laughs> there's the beauty pageant now. Oh, Hungry's going to have much fun with that. Yeah. I'm scared. You should be scared. <laughs> you have should to be scared, my director. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, dress, dress. My director. <laughs> Say, I will dress you up. Oh my god. I don't. No one's gonna have it. It'll be like Kanji in Persona 4. What? 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 Russia. Russia. Yeah, she's not here. Dress. Okay, so. Russia's gonna look pretty. So, so yeah. when they well, we already know she does. When Rome won the coffee house, he asked Germania to stay with him and run it together. And Germania's reply was. I'm not going to stick around and be a bum for the rest of my life. I'm in college. I'm going places. I did this to get money. That's it. So, Rome was left by himself. I like Austria's over there, like, laughing. Just come here. Come here. Come in the center. Enjoy us. Do you like the brownies? Continue. And this is authorized by Germania, so I don't feel like I'm overstepping the bounds. So, basically, after that, Rome tried to run it by himself, but nobody was interested in his crappy nation cup. I mean, Oh, no one wanted it. So he started building computers, which is what he had always really wanted to do anyway. I mean, but he didn't really have money. So Rome became a whore, which kind of came naturally to him. And ah! he started just sleeping with a bunch of really high up business execs. So he got really good connections and a lot of money to make these computers, and he started getting really good at it. And people were buying like buying them online. They would come in the store and they would buy it. And he would just like he would like sleep under the counter, like like a nation cup. So. <laughs> Once he became like a millionaire, once he had hit that point, because this is Nation Corp is supposed to be kind of like Microsoft, like mm. like Microsoft, like ten years ago. No, you mean like the blue screen of death and the red ring of death? No, the good Microsoft. The good Microsoft. It's okay. <laughs> I like Microsoft. Microsoft. It's okay. The good stuff. So I still use them. When he made a bunch of money, he went and tried to find Harold or Gerald, or however you want to pronounce it, because I'm not sure the German way to say it, but Germany. There. So he goes off to find him because it's his one true love, even though he sleeps with a bunch of people. Whatever. Love, sex, different things. For Rome. So he goes off and tries to find Gerald, who actually isn't employed because there's just a surplus of lawyers or whatever the hell occupation he went after. At least I don't care. But so Rome asked him to come back with him, and it was like unconditional. He didn't care that Germania blew him off before. He didn't care about any of that. He was just like, come back with me and be my VP. And he did. And that's where Nisha came from. Oh. And that's the same thing. And then they lived happily ever after. Yeah. I had baby. And I had baby. And lurked in oh, the yeah. And that's, that's the other part. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. That's the other part. Okay. So, Germania and Rome started living together when they were working at Nation Corp. And they were up in, like, this pent-out suite in, like, Manhattan when all of a sudden Rome found out that he had an illegitimate child went back in Rome. And his illegitimate child already had illegitimate children, Romano and Feliciano. Or, or rather, Lavinio and Feliciano. And so... He was like, well, that's awesome. So he flew back to awesome. Italy. Awesome. Yeah, so he flew back to Italy. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> orgy time? What the hell kind of question is that? When you're with Rome, it's always orgy time. All right, so he goes back He goes back to Italy to go find out what's going on with his illegitimate family. And he finds out they're mafia gangsters. And so he's not all about that. So he tries to kidnap both of the grandchildren. He's like, well, shit, my illegitimate son is already fucked up. I might as well go get my grandkids. So, he tries to steal Feliciano, and he succeeds, but he can't get Romano, so he has to leave him behind, and that's why Romano's all mean. Uh, <laughs> Feliciano's gone. 
But, I mean, first year we couldn't really grow up in Germania and Rome's little love shack. So, <laughs> Rome got a house up in upstate New York, and that's where Feliciana grew up, and that's why he was at um, Grant Ferry University, was because he grew up in New York. And so, yeah, so Rome spent all his weekends with his grandson, and he spent all his week, like, drinking and partying, and having sex with everyone in the world when he was at Nation Earth. So, but then when they retired, they decided that they wanted to really go incognito and watch everyone 24-7 and figure out who would be the next president or vice president of the company. I said that really fast on purpose. But, <laughs> so they decided that they were going to be like, just disappear off to face the earth. So they started living downstairs in the restricted room where they could watch them 24-7 on like, you know, like, full access. Like, 24-7. 24-7. They lied during the meeting and said that that wasn't true, but Rome just didn't want a lawsuit. So, <laughs> so, they were living down there until the tornado alarm went off, which was an accident because the security system had like a blue screen attack or whatever the hell else. Happened. Microsoft, here we yeah, go. Microsoft. And so they all got sent down in the basement. And so that was why Rome only came out and was just like, whoa, what? Why is everyone in our basement? <laughs> <laughs> so which Germania was really pissed because he doesn't even want people knowing that he's with Rome, let alone living in the basement watching what everybody's doing. Oh, no, they only caught Austria and Prussia. Oh, my God. <laughs> Those are the only people that were caught on tape. Only people who were caught on tape. Oh, I like how Austria turns around. What? Yeah, I was caught on tape? Who saw that? Who saw that? No one saw that. No one was there. I think that's it. I think that's the whole story of Even though uh, Russia is cool. Oh, there's a story about Russia, too. Yeah. Okay, okay. You want to know the story about Russia? Okay. So... The reason why Russia and Kiku were working for Nation Corp before Nation Corp um, started hiring everyone else was because Rome used to like just go out with like all these business associates, whatever, and he had to you know, party and whatever. And he hated it because he hates being with all the stuff crowd because he grew up poor in Italy, so he wants to just be here with like a bunch of guys. Just a bunch of guys. And so, <laughs> so when he was at this one bar, he met Ivan, and it reminded him himself because Ivan was sleeping with a bunch of people to get money to work his way to college. And so he was like, he's been in that situation. So he like kind of took care of him. And Germania was away this weekend when he decided to hang out with Ivan. And usually he just has a boy toy outside and like doesn't take them home because Germania doesn't allow him to take them home. So. <laughs> boy so toys stay out of the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty much. So he decided that Ivan. Oh no, Ivan was having some kind of weird thing with his like. Thank yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I thank stalk you. Russia, no big deal. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I should. Um, I'm in every log where that's mentioned. Really Why didn't I remember what disease it was? Whatever, I'm tired. So, he was having some problem with his tuberculosis, so it came loose. And so, <laughs> and so, Rome took him back to the house, and Russia, like, wouldn't let Rome leave him alone. And so, Rome gets a doctor and whatever, and eventually, like it's morning and Rome he like Ivan drags Rome into the bed with him. They're not sleeping or anything. Rome is actually trying to like push Ivan away to get away. Oh, yeah. But Germania comes home and walks in the door and sees them both. Oh, okay. And is like you bitch. Yeah, yeah. You're like you bitch. And <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I wasn't. I promise I wasn't. I told you last time was the last time. I told you last no. time was the last time was the last time. So, Germania, to get revenge, decided to hire the first person he saw that was really annoying and decided to hire Kiku. So, Rome and I fucking hate this kid. Because Germania only hired him to make sure Rome couldn't have any more fun ever. And it's true! Yeah, he told me this. Yeah! He told me this. I know, I know. So, how did this... This one. I know, how did this person here? Okay. Well. This person. Are you pointing at me? Yes. Iggy, how did they hire well. you and why? Uh, France has all issues. Because, what? <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the reason, here's the reason why people were hired. <laughs> There's a reason why people were hired. Not the employees. Regular employees just interviewed and in showed up. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, well, I, with the exception of a few cases, like Ukraine, um, Rome felt bad for Ivan and Butter. Um, in most cases, all the directors and vice directors are haunted by Germania and Rome themselves. Haunted? For certain, for certain reasons. Um, I don't know. We didn't go through those details. But it was mostly just because, for certain reasons, like charisma, like intelligence, like... He has charisma? Because they didn't, they wanted to make sure that they could just pick someone who would be the president, but... 
Well, I don't want to blow the ending of the competition, so I won't. Uh, but there is a twist ending, so does, I'm for it. Do, do I get to find out how, like, why I could, like, Alfred of all people? I could make up something. On the top it's of my head now! It's not like, it's not like, oh, well, let me Elise look it up. I am Rome, so I could just make something up. That's what I use. I want to know why Arthur was like the best boss ever. In life. Arthur was hired because he didn't tell Oh, I got a panty shot. He's classy. <laughs> oh, no, no. <laughs> Intelligent and classy, that's why Arthur was hired. Alfred was hired because he was charismatic and he could hold his alcohol. No, he can't hold his alcohol. Alfred cannot hold his alcohol. Well, he seemed entertaining oh God, to run yeah. 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 Well, well you, have to remember, you have to remember, too, that Rome likes pretty boys. Uh, there may not have been a reason in that case. He's like, oh, pretty boy. But you're hired. That one's pretty. But, 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 but if it was somebody who actually does work, it was probably picked by Germania. Like, like Germany. Kiku and Germany. Kiku. Yeah, there's no way Rome picked Germany. There's just no way. <laughs> there, there's, there's no or way. Austria. Well, Austria. Austria's pretty. So. Yeah, Austria's pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I get that as soon as Austria's going, oh. <laughs> Austria's pretty. <laughs> so I guess that's, that's pretty much it. Cookie Monster.